Well, as stated earlier, with 78 fight news, I forgot to put it out on my video. And I can go a little bit more into it. Um, the two big fights that uh, TMT were looking to make in the uh, upcoming future for 2013 and going on is uh, the Adrian Bronner fight with Gamboa which we've all known and heard about constantly but I'll separate these fights the other fight a lot of people didn't know about that they really wanted to make and that's Andre Durrell versus Sergio Martinez and this is going to be at 168, of course, but at a catch weight, somewhere where it's feasible, where Martinez can come in at a higher weight and be comfortable, and Darrell can go down and weight uh, and be comfortable. But that's just what they want to do. It's not like contracts have been drawn up, things have been pushed out. It's just what they want to do in the direction they want to go at with Darrell. And they feel that Darrell has a great opportunity and a great chance to beat Sergio Martinez. They really truly believe it. And that's what two fights they really want to go with. So I kind of want to lean to, let's look past the Chavez Jr. fight. Because they win, lose, or draw, they still want to do this fight with Martinez. Now... Looking at the matchups between Andre Durrell and Sergio Martinez, how do you think it will play out? Me personally, I think Andre Durrell would not win this fight. Even at a higher weight, I don't think he can win the fight. I just really think he's a good fighter. But I don't know if he has what it takes to get to the elite level. I just really don't see it with him. With Andre Ward, you knew. You said, okay, this kid has what it takes to get to the next level. To be an elite fighter. He has that. With Darrell, I don't see it. He pulled out the fight with Andre Ward in the Super 6. Because he wasn't getting enough money. He did everything he could to pull out the fight. Because he said, oh, this fight's happening too soon. Because he didn't think he could win. That doesn't sound like a champion to me. I don't know about the rest of you guys, but that just doesn't sound like a winner. That don't make me say, let me get behind this guy. So, you know... I mean, he's got decent boxing ability, but he has a lot of baby in him. With Sergio Martinez, he shows you he can dictate a pace of a fight. He controls the outcome. He controls the momentum from bigger guys to smaller guys. So, this will be a fight where he'll be fighting another guy that's got some speed, but he got a lot of chick in him. He complains to the refs every 10 seconds he's always unhappy about something and he whines and cries through fights and I just don't want to see that mar a fight but I see Martinez controlling him and then just picking him apart possibly knocking him down and stopping him but I don't see him beating Martinez even if Martinez had to go up 4 or 5 pounds so y'all let me know what y'all think We'll do another video and we'll break down the Gamboa fight with Bronner. But most of the people have already known about that for a while, so they kind of done that. But I'll do a breakdown video of that and we'll go into that. Peace.